Welcome to another deep dive into the fascinating world of religious history and mythology. Today, we're unraveling the complex tale of Lucifer, the fallen angel. But here's a twist, the story you've likely heard isn't exactly in the Bible, at least not as it's often told. The real origin of Lucifer is a tale of misinformation, conflation, and one very curious mistranslation. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about the name Lucifer. It's one of many names used for the devil, like Satan and the beast. But only once is the name Lucifer ever mentioned in the Bible, and that's in the Old Testament's book of Isaiah. In chapter 14, verse 12, the prophet Isaiah says, How you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning! How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations! Interestingly, this taunting remark is directed towards the arrogant king of Babylon, not the devil. Isaiah is teasing the king for his fall from grace, likening him to Lucifer. But if you examine the text in its original language, Biblical Hebrew, you'll find that Isaiah never actually says the name Lucifer. Instead, he calls the king of Babylon, Helel ben Shahar, literally a, shining one, son of the morning, in Hebrew. This phrase doesn't refer to Satan or the devil, but a planet, Venus, otherwise known as the morning star. The story gets even more interesting when we consider the translation of the Bible into Latin by early Christians. They translated the Hebrew word for morning star into their own word for morning star, Lucifer. Lucifer is a Latin word for morning star, literally translating to, light bringer. But how did Lucifer, the morning star, become associated with evil and fallen angels? For that, we turn to the Book of Enoch, an apocryphal biblical text written around 300 to 200 BCE. This book, while not part of the canonical Bible, was incredibly popular in Second Temple Judaism and influenced contemporary religious ideas. In the Book of Enoch, there's a chapter called the Book of Watchers, which tells the story of the Watchers, angels who were dispatched to Earth to watch over humanity but ended up lusting for human women and procreating with them. Their offspring, the Nephilim, pillaged the Earth and endangered humanity. God, in anger, allowed a great flood to rid the earth of the corrupted humankind and the Nephilim, warning Noah to build his ark beforehand. This tale of fallen angels led Jews and early Christians to reinterpret a verse in the book of Isaiah as a reference to these fallen angels, rather than the planet Venus. When early Christians read Isaiah in Latin, they understood Lucifer not as lightbringer, but as a name for a fallen angel. And so, Lucifer, the name for the fallen angel, finally stuck and was added to the growing number of names used for the devil. That's as close to an origin story for Lucifer as we can get. It's the story of how our planet accidentally became a fallen angel. Today's Bibles no longer use Lucifer in their translations and instead use Morning Star in Isaiah 14 verse 12. The story of how Lucifer got his name is a fascinating journey down a rabbit hole of translation, interpretation, and mythology. As always, I encourage you to explore this topic further on your own. And stay tuned for more deep dives into the fascinating world of religious history and mythology. Until next time, 